Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee and I'm happy to have you here today. It's December and I am starting to get things ready for Christmas. I don't put my tree up until after Thanksgiving, so we're in the process of that. Um, just, you know, all the stuff you do, bringing out all the memories. And today I'm gonna make something that's like a gift from the kitchen. And it's actually part of a collab. I would have made it anyway, but I'm sharing it as part of a collab, Gifts from the Kitchen, that's being put on by Tina at Life at the Piedmont. And there's, I think there's about 10 channels. I'll have them all below. And between now, well, between December 1st, actually, and the 22nd, we're all posting videos. Not on a certain day, just the days that we would normally post our videos. So we're all doing like, you know, several videos or one video or whatever that's a gift from our kitchen, things that we'd like to share and give away to people, family, friends, church, neighbors. And today I'm making something that my mom used to make that I liked a lot, and I've never made it, because um, she always made it. And it is spiced pecans or walnuts. There's her recipe. And she was a diabetic, so she would actually make it with Splenda. I'm gonna make it with sugar. I don't have any Splenda. And hers tasted good with Splenda because you can bake with that. But they're just a nice spicy treat and something different to crunch on, not you know overly sweet. When I was a kid, and I see, I see memes about this and stuff. When I was a kid, we had this big bowl. It was actually ceramics, it was holly. And in it, they would go to the store at, always during December and you would get all the mixed nuts, the Brazil nuts, the hazelnuts, the walnuts, pecans, and almonds. And you had the cracker, and you had the picks. And we would, that would always be on the table as a snack during December. So she got, didn't do that anymore for a few years now, but she started making these spiced walnuts. And I have several bags of these walnuts in my freezer that were given to me. What I did get was I got these goodie bags at Dollar Tree, and there is 15 in here, so for $1.25, and I'll put the nuts in here to, for the baskets I'm going to give. So come on down and let's make spiced walnuts. These remind me of the nuts that used to be made, at least in, the, in Michigan, in the malls during the holiday season. And you'd walk in and all you could smell was these spice nuts. The cinnamon smell was just so good. And you could not leave, or at least we could not leave without buying a tube of them to bring home. So the recipe is very simple, actually. It's one egg white plus a tablespoon of water. So I have already separated my eggs. And here's three egg whites from our chickens. And here I have three tablespoons of water because we're tripling this recipe. And I'll put the single recipe down below. And you want to beat this until it's frothy. So I am not going to use a mixer. I'm just going to use a whisk. Okay, there we go. It is frothy now. Now we are going to mix in sugar and spices. Sugar and spice and everything nice. <laughs> so it's a half a cup of sugar per um, batch, so I need one and a half cups of sugar. Three teaspoons of cinnamon. I grabbed nutmeg at first, so I had to fix some things. <laughs> Luckily, I was doing it with a half teaspoon. Ah, pay attention, Renee, pay attention. Three teaspoons of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon for each batch for the nutmeg. There's still some nutmeg in ours. So, quarter teaspoon. So I am I'm just gonna put like about a half a teaspoon. I will put the correct measurement down below. 
and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix this up. And you could always change up the spices too. I don't know if you could use the pie spice or any of the blends also, but you want cinnamon to be the dominant flavor. So if you make this the way mom makes it, it would be um, keto friendly. If you use stevia or something. I'm not sure which ones of those are best for baking with. Now we just want to open up our nuts and add them. It says halves, but mine aren't all halves. And I don't think it usually is when you're buying them. Seems like a lot of nuts for that much. But they weren't thickly coated, so. Now after it's all mixed, we're gonna spread this into a cookie sheet. We'll see if I need two. And they cook for two hours. No, one hour. <laughs> They cook for one hour and you stir every 15 minutes. So the nuts get nice and toasty and infused with the cinnamon flavors and the other warm spices. You know, if you like cloves, you can add cloves or allspice. I think the cinnamon and the sugar and a little bit of nutmeg is perfect. Well, look at that, it is enough. And as it bakes in the oven and they melt and stir them, it distributes even more evenly. Now we want to spread them on a cookie sheet that's been ungreased. We don't want to grease the cookie sheet. And make sure you get any of the sugar mixture out of the bottom of the bowl. Okay, I'm gonna get a small cookie sheet out and put some of these on that. So I'm gonna put these in the oven, set my timer for 15 minutes, and I'll bring it back as I stir them and rotate them. Timer went off. Let's stir them. I don't know if you can see, but like they're starting to like kind of dry out. So you want to mix it. I'm gonna push these back here and get the other one out. Switch. Oh, look at that. I never even caught that. There's a shell. <laughs> a big hunk of shell.
set the timer for 15 minutes. Here they are done. Everything is dry. There's no liquid in here. The nuts are toasted. So now they have to cool before we can package them up. Sure you loosen them all up like some here on the edges a little stuck so I'm gonna get a spatula out but see they're all coated and toasty just like the ones you used to get in the malls or at least around here and here they are all packaged up in the gift bags and they are nice and toasty and crunchy. And thank you so much for watching this video with gifts from the kitchen. And see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.